Good. So this one is about acupuncture and cardiovascular disease, and it is I'm doing it on behalf of uh, Mark Bowie, who is not able to be here today because he's uh, on vacation. But he did a review of research uh, on behalf of the British Acupuncture Council. Um, this one you can also find in the newsletter that uh, the um, research task force sent out a week or two ago, if you want to read the entire um, um, review. So they stated that the current gold standard care for cardiovascular disease includes surgery and medication. And acupuncture could be used as an uh, adjunct, adjunct to this standard care to optimize the outcome. So this is what they, um, or Mark concluded uh, after reviewing the research on all of this. So they looked into uh, some different aspects of cardio, um, cardiovascular diseases, and one was uh, hypertension. And uh, it was, um, they found different studies on it, and one of them was uh, that showed that acupuncture in combination with medication is uh, better uh, for hypertension than, med than medication alone. Uh, and also showed that acupuncture and medication is better than medication and sham acupuncture. Um, what was really interesting uh, in the review is that they found that moxibustion, um, sorry, just a minute. Um, so we'll go on. So what yeah. they found was quite interesting that the moxibustion uh, was better and in reducing, was better than acupuncture in reducing the diabolic uh, blood pressure. Um, and that moxibustion had a similar effect as medication. And they also found that the combination of moxibustion and medication had a strong significant effect on reducing hypertension. Uh, another study also confirmed that acupuncture is better than sham acupuncture and waitlist. And there was a, uh, Mark looked at a study uh, which used uh, abdominal acupuncture and auricular acupuncture. And it showed that uh, abdominal acupuncture was better at reducing hypertension than sham acupuncture. However, it also showed that auricular therapy for a short period of time increased um, the blood uh, or hypertension. So that's that's not so good, but that's what they found. Uh, then we have arterial fibrillation, and here they he found studies that showed that acupuncture is uh, similar to has similar effect as medication and it's better than the controls. Um, and as another study found that acupuncture combined with medication was better at uh, reducing arterial fibrillation than, uh, any, than only medication. In, and it was, they were looking at reducing the reoccurrence of arterial fibrillation. It's a difficult word in English. Uh, acupuncture is uh, also superior to medication in reducing a fast heart rate, they found. And for angina, uh, acupuncture and standard care significantly re increases the effective rate on it. And they also found a study which showed that acupuncture reduces the frequency of attacks and also improves anxiety uh, and depressions um, in the patients compared to standard care or sham. Uh, acupuncture alone and uh, alone and alone and acupuncture with medication also improves symptoms and reoccurrence of um, heart attacks and fewer uh, patients experience ineffective relief as they usually or as they can do with medication only. Then we also have coronary um, heart disease and it shows that acupuncture improves the response of the cardiovascular system 
And they found also a study that showed that acupuncture significantly reduces the incidence of coronary heart diseases in patients with fibromyalgia. That is uh, quite interesting as well. And then the last one is uh, heart failure. Uh, they found in the review, they found studies uh, showing that acupuncture has a high efficacy rate compared to standard care and acupuncture may reduce the length of stay in intensive care unit and also the risk of uh, re-emission. So all in all, um, the review showed that acupuncture um, has a lot of potential in helping uh, people with um, different types of cardiovascular diseases. Um, and the reference to all of the studies is here, and you can also find um, more of this in the specific review, which is attached in the newsletter that we sent out a couple of weeks ago. So that was uh, Mark's presentation. So now it's time for you, Gil. <laughs>